future of Dragon Ball as a whole in terms of the anime, the manga, the video games. That's what we're going to discuss today. And uh, I wanted to talk about this because I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball. Anything Dragon Ball related, um, I'm a fan of. Obviously, you see the channel. <laughs> but um, I kind of see Dragon Ball making its way to a close. And I just wanted to discuss like why that is and uh, you know how that's going to be. And I think I got to start this off by talking about their storylines right now there's, there's going to be spoiler warnings so anybody who doesn't want spoilers i would recommend you click off now i appreciate your time thanks for coming hope you subscribe for future dragon ball content but as of right now if you're an anime only uh just click off i don't want to spoil the story for you but i think they're running out of storylines and i think the simple reason is goku has gotten too strong i know that's that's the point of the show, right? The Saiyans keep evolving. They keep getting stronger. But eventually it's going to get to a point where it's going to be stupid, right? Like they're going to they're gonna come up with some villain that just doesn't make sense. And it's just not going to be good for the story. Like let's look at um, Tournament of Power, right? That's where they left off on the anime. Uh, the Tournament of Power was really high stakes, right? Loser's universe gets erased. Like that's intense, right? So with the Losers universe getting erased, we were like, okay, there's not much higher they could get. Like the stakes are way too high. But I mean, they played it out pretty good. I think we could tell that the winner was gonna wish all the other universes back, right? Cause that was pretty tough. I mean, that was pretty harsh even for Dragon Ball standards, but we kind of knew that was gonna happen. But the tournament of power culminated with Goku uh, 17 and Frieza fighting Jiren, who in my opinion, was an amazingly designed antagonist. Can't call him a villain, he wasn't a villain. He was an antagonist. Um, direct opposition to the protagonist, blah, 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 blah. But uh, he was good, he was simple, right? He, uh, he had a simple fighting style, he had a simple backstory, and I thought that that made him the perfect antagonist for that arc. And then on top of that, like he wasn't a pushover, like Goku did, did it get into this new state and then just whoop him like goku kind of did with the other villains i mean with frieza it was it was goku clearly got the upper hand but frieza powered up you know on namek we don't got to rehash that but i think they're running out of storylines goku's too strong let's go into the moral arc right we got goku turning into a perfect sasano like that's crazy that came out of nowhere and it didn't make too much sense but they're running out of storylines. What else can you do when Goku's that strong? Like they're running out of things to surprise the viewers. And I think that's evident. Um, I think that's an honest uh, view to say they're running out of things to do to sur surprise the viewers. I think they're holding Broly in their back pocket though. I think they're holding Broly in their back pocket for when they get to the point where it's like, okay guys, we don't have anything left to give them. So let's just give them Broly. I'm cool with that. I think that's good. Uh, of course, Broly would be on their team, I think. But let's talk about the villains. They're running out of villain ideas. Now, with this new villain, Granola, right? I think he kind of peaked. Uh, or he's not a villain. I'm sorry. He is also an antagonist. He's kind of being strung along to fight Goku and Vegeta. But uh, I think that they're, he's kind of peaked the villains or antagonist because he's the only one that got the Dragon Balls and wished to just be the strongest in the universe, right? So what does it mean when, I'm going to say when, because we already know Goku and friends are going to beat him. What does that mean? Then that means whoever beats Granola is the strongest in the universe. And then after that, it's like, what now? Right? I mean, I guess they could do another world tournament arc, which would kind of, um, I think that'd be amazing. But that to me seems like one of the only ways they could go because they can't go into like, okay, there's a, a worldwide threat because they're just gonna one-shot them. Maybe I'm maybe I'm taking that too far, but if Goku wins against this granola guy and everything's done, then what's left? He beat the strongest in the universe, according to the wish that the guy made. What else is left? Uh, one route they could possibly take is, what if they either kill Goku permanently or just take him away so that the people the earth you know the earth has to be protected by whoever's left but then it wouldn't be dragon ball right because goku's the main character and that's kind of how that works you saw what happened when they tried to make gohan the main character for a while 
because that didn't work out. Now he's great Saiyan man running around stressed out. Um, but let's get off the show and talk about the games. I think the games, uh, the games can keep coming, and I think that'll be good, right? Because it's a battle shown in. Uh, it's a, a simple show, uh, fighting, right? It's just fighting. So they can keep coming out with games uh, that have new features, new fighting features. But, and there's a very big but, <laughs> they got to change the company who's making them. Or at least just get dimps out of the way. Because I look at it like this, man. I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, Cyber Connect 2, right? The, the, the Ninja Storm games, the Ultimate Ninja Storm games. Uh, the Storm series, big fan. And they worked with Bandai to make some amazing games. But then Dimps comes along, makes these Dragon Ball games, and just the the flaws are, are keeping this game, Xenoverse, I mean, from being one of the great Dragon Ball games. I think it still could be, but to me, the flaws are keeping it from being a great Dragon Ball game. Um, speaking of that, I also think that the storylines and the themes in the games could be ruined also because of uh, just... Like I said, how the anime is running out of stuff to do, right? To look at Naruto. When Naruto first started, it was about ninjas having to outsmart one another, use stealth, use better techniques. It's real intellectual battles. But then Shippuden came along, and then it was just like, okay, whose Rasengan is bigger? Or who has the Sharingan? They just win. And it's like, the show was still a classic, and I still love it, and I think it was great the way they did it, but... I was pretty upset to see it go in that direction. I was hoping it didn't because there was like the uh, the suspense in watching the anime to see, okay, how is uh, how is Naruto gonna figure this out? He's in a tough situation. How's he gonna figure this out? Uh, and then Shippuden, it just kind of turned into, oh, he'll just do a big Rasengan, it'll be over with. Dragon Ball is there, right? It's like, Goku is uh, Susano now. There it goes. That's it. <laughs> and I'm like, that, that's not cool, man. Um, it was unexpected, and I was excited to see it. But after I saw it, and after like the adrenaline went away, I was like, what the? What did I just read? Are you serious? Goku turned into that for no reason. He just did. I mean, of course they they had a reason, right? Like we know why he did it, but I don't know. I just I don't think that Dragon Ball is heading in a good direction. Um, I think they need to make a hard left and change what they're doing because at this rate they're gonna fall into just some nonsense that we see with other animes right like there's an anime that i love it's called hitman reborn i don't know if you've ever seen it but to me it's one of the shonen classics it, to me is pretty close to perfect right that the comedy the combat the cool characters the storyline was in-depth and awesome and um they ended it appropriately and it was very consistent and when they ended it it was done like there was no room for it to fall into nonsense right and i think dragon ball maybe they should have ended a little bit ago i don't know that's a that's a tough thing to say as a dragon ball fan i don't want it to stop but maybe it should have right i wonder how things would have been if uh it ended after boo saga i don't know i mean we wouldn't have ultra instinct but you never know right but I uh, hope you guys have a blessed day. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, subscribe, leave a like. Y'all have a great rest of your day. I'm out later.